Hello there guys, Josh Flip 989 here, this Player of the Week episode 2. Um, just wanted to quickly like bring to your attention before I say who the player is, but you can see that on the right anyway. Um, you know, basically, if you got any players that you want to recommend me from certain uh, recommend me from certain leagues, just post it in the comments below, guys. Um, you know, I may use that as an actual player to actually go to. So you done that last week, and it was very good. You gave me some ideas. A lot of people wanted Danny this week, so I ended up like getting Danny, and he was very, very, very good. Um, I have been ill. I did mean to bring this video out um, yesterday, but I was very ill and. I've been very ill this like the whole week, so apologies like if the gameplay is not good, but you know, I wanted to get it out and I don't like falling behind schedule and I did by not bringing it out yesterday. Um but there's also another thing that I wanted to say, like I mean I've said that I wanted like do videos on like attackers, um midfielders, defenders and goalkeepers, but I'm just wondering, would you guys be bored like seeing clips of like defenders just tackling and goalkeepers just saving? You know, it's just an idea. Because, I mean, I, if not, I could actually just, like, recommend, like, some of these kind of players like, at the end. Like, when I do, like, the main ones for, like, attackers or something, just say, or get, like, newer or something, the 86 version or something like that. Because he's, like, very cheap or, like, any other goalkeeper, like, Buffon from Serie A, etc. But them two, they're two actual cheap keepers anyway, so <laughs> I wanted to get them, you know, have a look at their prices. Because they were cheap the last time I looked for goalkeepers anyway for, like, Serie A Bundesliga. But, um... You know that's just like a little thought. So if you got any, if you don't want to see like defenders or goalkeepers, post that in the comments below. Because you know I don't want to do it and like people are not interested in it. I mean, I may do it on my second account, second YouTube channel that I've got on my at the moment. So I may actually do it and just do it on that if you're interested. But um, player that we got this week, we have got Danny plays in Zenit Saint Petersburg. Um, he's a five star skill move player. He's got flair which allows him to do the Rabona pass. Um, Zenit can be found in the Russian league, so if you're interested in making a Russian league team, like you know, Danny's very good, along with like Kaysuke Honda, Dumbia, and Kershikov, you know, very very good attacking players. You know, that's who I found. Like that's the four, my four like strikers for one well, not strikers, but four attackers for my Russian league team, and very 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 good. But um, you may you'll see a lot of clips of me using him like for the uh, Portugal team that I made, like, and he was really good. You know, played him as that centre midfield role, got into a lot of space. You know, with the four-three-three formation, you, I find lots and lots of space. So Dwayne recommended me this formation; it was very, very good. I was then like, I ended up finding like the wingers so easily. There was always a player in space, so I was very happy with that. Uh, free kicks. I don't really recommend using him as a free kick taker because I mean, like, if you're going to make like a a Russian league based team, Kasuka Honda's the man for free kicks. But he was actually quite good for free kicks. Curled free kicks. Um, I don't know. Over the top free kicks by basically just dipping it over the wall. Very, very good. You know, as you see me overreacting with the celebration. I don't like to overreact with celebrations, but when people get on the line and hack me out during matches, you know, that's what you get. Um, that's that angle there with the curls free kick. That was very, very good. Like, you know, I found that I scored like more free kicks from that angle, like curling it around the wall on that side. I couldn't do it on the other side. You know, or maybe I could if I practiced more, but I just couldn't couldn't get it a lot. But that, you know, as I was saying, these over-the-top free kick by just holding up with the analog stick, you know, it's very, very good. Um, positions that I recommend using him. Obviously, I said centre mid, but I mean, you could use him as an attacking midfielder, or, or maybe, maybe even centre forward. I mean, I don't recommend using him as a striker, but centre forward maybe playing behind the last man. You know, he's he is pretty good. He's got nice passing stats, all right shooting stats, and he's got nice pace for a player. His dribbling's amazing. I mean, he's got five star skill moves, so what you're gonna expect from a player with like five star skill moves, you're gonna expect their actual dribbling to be quite high. But his defence, you know, he's not he's not a defensive player and he's not good at heading, so if you're gonna use him as a centre mid, make sure you got like another centre midfielder who can actually defend as well, who's got nice defending, you know, just to just a bit of backup. That's a pretty low Rabona pass there. I don't know, don't know about that. But the goals that I like to include in this, like as I was saying, like it's basically just like some assists that he got and uh, just goals of all the players that I used and you know just and then obviously set pieces and stuff. Uh, I didn't try using them for penalties, but I didn't really get that many penalties anyway. And I only, only had one and like missed it. But um, you know if you got any players to recommend, put them in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, like it if you did. Peace out, guys.